friends, welcome back to another riveting episode of this little adventure, this adventure of your life. Yes, this is the carriage that will take you to another land, to another valley. Um, so uh, keep an eye out and see what, uh, see what you can learn. All right, so last class we looked at the ellipse. Uh, I'll just do a bit of a review here. From our first class, we learned that by keeping equidistance, by looking at distance, we could achieve direction. Uh, and putting glasses on helps too. Uh, and we also learnt the importance of correcting our mistakes. Mm -hmm. Distance. Direction. Distance. Keeping it parallel. Mm. Right. Then we then we learned how one shape is able to function as a formative component whoop, to another shape. As in here. Or the rectangle that is able to give us. By the way, that noise in the background is not static, if you can hear it. It's beautiful rain outside. And I was going to wait for the rain to stop, but I thought it's kind of nice creating things in the rain. Maybe you can put uh, Riders on the Storm on in the background. All the time you're doing these things, use your imagination. Feel the shape. Okay, there's our ellipse. And correct it. So, I taught you how to make this shape here. You see, I still struggle with today. That's not a bad one. This, my friends, is the doorway. The, the I've mentioned in the last episode, the iron door. It's hard, It's like bending heavy gauge wire to doing that thing. But what it gives you is a an instrument to create things. And I'm going to show you how this beautiful shape, the ellipse, gives you the essential ingredient to create three of the five building blocks that create the known universe. Three of the five building blocks. And you're thinking, what the hell is this guy talking about? Well, you'll see. So first of all, the first building block. I won't try what I'm doing. The first building block. I always like making patterns. Sorry not to tell you what I'm doing, but a bit of mystery. Notice my lines are nice and light. Dot, dot. 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 No, not too perfect. Okay. Dot. 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 So our first building block is what I call the pillar of civilization. Yes, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, take that center line out, take the top away, and we have 
the cylinder. I remember the room I was in when I created my first cylinder. It was at the Julian Ashton Art School down at the rocks and it excited me dearly, if you can be excited dearly. Um, this is the foundation, the building block to construct, reconstruct the universe. Okay, let's have a look. So that's looking down at the cylinder. Um, me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. That's looking up at the cylinder. Let's make that a little bigger. Once you've taken out the ones you need, you can come back over then. Strengthen these lines up a bit. Always draw the whole shape. A lot of times I see people do this, they do a, and then they just do one of these here. But that is not the same as that. See, it's got these sharp little edges there. I've seen Walt, I've seen Disney people do this. It's disgraceful. I once see, saw them do it on uh, on uh, Mickey Mouse's uh, top of his pants. I was horrified. That was a curve, uh, an arc. That is a curve. It spins. We mentioned that in the last episode. Go back and watch that if you haven't watched it. You have to watch all these episodes. Painful as they may seem. Now we're going to take off both sides. Now we've got a cylinder. We can't see the top. Can't see the bottom. Like the bosom of Abraham. Yeah? I mean, is that right? So this one, we're looking down at this one. Looking down at a can of beer. This one, we're looking up. Looking up at a can of beer. Maybe under a glass table. This one, we're lying on the ground looking straight across at that can of beer. Or let's say, can of orange juice for the... Uh, Younger viewers. All right, so there you go. There's a cylinder. Now, I mentioned playing the building blocks. This is a, what you do with these things is you play with them. So let's see what we can play with. Now, first of all, instead of using a rectangle, let's do a triangle. Dot, dot. Yes, boys and girls, we have a party hat. You can do another cylinder inside if you want. Okay. Then you've got uh, an Italian slushy. An Italian slushy. Yeah, I like some chips, you know, that they used to do in the Roman times. One of those Monty Python things. Okay, what else have we got? We got uh, this seems quite pertinent during the pandemic season of 2020. These things are very sought after. Mm -hmm. It's it's a symbol. It, it, what I've created here is I'll give that a bit of a hard edge on the inside. Is a symbol. We all know what that symbol is. Especially when we run out of them. Yeah, it's a symbol. Um, okay, what else we got? Let's go. Ellipse here, and let's go Curve Dean. Let's have a funnel. Let's have a 
here. We have this little horn. Okay, a horn. Uh, let's see what else we can do here. Here's a fun one. Um, let's see if we distance shape. I'm run out of space here. Little oh, party trick of mine. These are what we call party hacks. Now these are hacks. This is just playing around and being stupid. But that, that's not a hack, that's hard work. It's a crayon, a dear little crayon. Yeah, dear little crayon. Then, oh, look at this guy. Another little lips there. See, that's cool, yeah? And then what we can do, we can get that line there and turn it into one of these lines. So use that line still. Okay. Carefully lay these horizontals in. Again, maintaining that distance in between the lines. Yeah, just maintaining that nice little thickness in between the line above. It's nice, it feels nice. feels nice and when it feels nice generally it looks nice now we don't have to do another one there we can do the same thing let's do a few there and there's our oh there's a little pencil yeah there's our little pencil of course we could Yeah. Turns into a pencil. Oh, here we go. This is Spaceship Enterprise. We are cruising with a right. Me 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 me. All right, they're toys. They're things to play with. Here we go. Let's do a triangle here. Let me just check. I'm still filming this. Yep. Um. Now, you can turn this off now. Just practice those things. Because you can see, I can just keep going here forever and ever. Now, this is a good little thing to teach the kids if they're freaking you out because they keep going on those bloody devices. Filling up all that bloody dopamine on those devices. Teach, give them one of these things to play with. This is... This is added value to your life, you know? This costs nothing. When I learned how to make these things, it was a big thing for me. I was about 21, 21. I wasn't like, I should have been taught this stuff when I was five. 21 I learned this stuff. 
I always thought being creative was about destroying things. It's not about creating things, it's about constructing stuff. Yeah, we just there's that little window there. Come back to earth. And then let's do a Moves on to our next shape. Yeah. And we can go like this. Yeah. No one will ever know. Okay, so it's a cool. If you go, if you need to do tricky bits like this, just put the pencil in on a bit harder. You can just rub it out. Yeah, and it stays behind, yeah? Okay. Some on in there. Okay, going down to planet Earth. Back to planet Earth. So, yeah. There's that. Okay, there's the cylinder. Now let's have a look at... Oh, one, one other thing to play with is... I started doing this the other day. Doing lips up here. Do another one like down there. It's important to play. Everyone says it's important to play, but it's like, what the hell does that mean? Well, it's about doing the same thing, but varying it. Okay, we've got in, out, in, out, in. Okay. Well, let's see what we can make of this. Down there, dot, dot. I'm gonna rub these out as we go. This is like sitting there on a Tuesday afternoon. Waiting for something to happen to your life. Notice I put the middle of that ellipse down there, out to, a bit to the right. Take that top one out. Oh, there you go, one of those things. I don't know what it is, you know, but there you go. It's something to play with, isn't it? So this is the ellipse. Maybe we open it up and have water coming out of it. Do another large receptacle down here. Okay, so, oh, okay, let's, here we go, keep going. Let's connect our toilet pa roll up. Most of our toilet roll's been put to good measure. Okay, <laughs> look. That guy, you gotta get that guy. Okay, so that's that guy. Go and practice then. 
go practice your cylinders and uh, turn me off for a bit. Let the uh, Wi-Fi, let everyone have a bit of uh, other Wi-Fi time for a chance. Wiffy. All right. See you soon. Bye. Okay. Now you've all had a bit of fun and you will have had all sorts of different varieties with this. I learned that. I learned this, right? Yeah. But this, I just played around with this. That's how I learned that. Okay. So that's the cylinder. There's the cone. There are two shapes, two of the five shapes, two of the five building blocks that make up the known universe. More on that later. Now we'll draw a perfect circle. Oh no, that's not perfect. So we make it perfect. There's the, pretending there's a square there, right? Let's try to take it out to there. There's a square there. We, that'll take it out to there. That's about right. Okay. So this was in our first episode. Uh, remembering to hold our pencil the right way. Holding a pencil like this is so important because it makes you detach. In order to draw like this, you must detach. When I drew this, I thought, well, that's very dull. But then I looked at it later, I thought, no, that's kind of cool. You must detach in order to draw things successfully. And, yeah. All right, so we've done that. Put a tangent through it. Like a tangerello. Well, not a tangerello. A grapefruit. My grandfather, Henry Arnold Thomas, every morning for breakfast would have a grapefruit chopped in half like this and he would eat it with a spoon. Grapefruits and then he'd smoke a cigar and then and he liked them Bonox too. <laughs> right, there we go. That's cool, yeah. Um, then we did that. Oh Lord, I don't know what that is. Is that like some avocado with a seed that's too big? Let's make it a, oh hang on, let's take that little. Sometimes, see there was that little line there? And that, there, that was disappointing us. It is important sometimes to get little particulars out of the way. Oh, one thing, I, sometimes the question is which line to do darker? Back to our cylinder. Oh, I've got my coffee cup here. There's my coffee cup. There's the handle, I'll just turn around the, can only see part of it, yeah. It's around the back. Now, if we're looking at that coffee cup, that bottom line isn't really that necessary, yeah? And that back line, the bottom back one, isn't that, yeah, you see that? Yeah, so what line to leave in and what line to, in fact, we could even darken it and darken it. See that line there? Watch me make that line disappear. I'll darken that whole thing and then bring it in so that line disappears. That's tone. We look at that later. Oh, I'll make this if I can darken it a bit. Anyway, we come back to tone. That's another time. Um, 
back to our sphere. Ball. Slice it in half. Slice it in half twice. Draw an ellipse this way. Even if it's a wonky ellipse, it'll sort of look okay. But we're not going to make them wonky because we're students and we're learning to make things perfect. Because we aspire to excellence at the Daniel Deming School of Drawing. Okay, so we're going to take this half, like here, put that half away. And then we're going to take the top, what was that half away. My kids, when they go to school, when we're making their lunches in the morning, have this thing called crunch and sip. Crunch and sip. And, of course, they like to have a slice of apple. I can't which way the seeds go with an apple. An apple. And if they eat their apple, like good kids, there it is, they eat their apple, then we allow them to Have some watermelon afterwards. And if they have their watermelon, then I don't know if I can do this. They can. Is this convincing? Maybe not. <laughs> they can go for it. Go on the, the swings after that. Oh, yeah, I sort of bugged it up, but there you go. Oh, look, we'll put another ellipse down there. I'll go on the swings. Yeah. Um, okay, what else we got? Oh, okay, let's go. We're almost finished with our sphere. Again, these are little, just, it's just playing. It's not, I'm not teaching you anything here. That is what I taught you. That. What I will teach you in subsequent classes is how to shade these properly. Yeah, this and that, you know, that sort of stuff. But again, it's instrumental for stuff. Annoying me. Oh, it's annoying me even more. Okay. <laughs> oh, you hood beast. Okay. Boom. Boom. This is fun. If you like dancing. I spoke to a friend of mine the other day and I said, what do you want to do when this COVID, this corona thing finishes? And he said, I want to go and dance. That was a good answer. During the Vietnam War, nor the south of Vietnam, they outlawed dancing. We're not allowed to dance. The whole time we're thinking of those spinning shapes we did here. Really, it's not that airplane coming into land. If you keep it nice and solid like that, it is rewarding. It is worthwhile. Think of that as in a straight line there, yeah? Hmm. 
not rushing it. You can become as a good a drawer as you like. If you just put the effort in, you know, like, you may know, you might just race through all this stuff. But if you want to, if you want exactitude, then do it, you know. It's like one of those, I don't know, what's that? It's like one of those uh, chocolate lollies, but that's got heaps of them, but you know, that was like an orange. They were in the 1970s, and I still see them at the shops. The run downstairs after my mother and father had had a dinner party. I'm going to be a bit freer on this one, sort of. I want my hand just around. And just sort of feel the strength of the shape now. Okay. Bam. Um, I think I've done all the party tricks here. Um, oh, one last one. Um, oh, with you can also look. Do two last ones. We slice it there. Slice it there. Oh, let's just slice it that far and see what happens. We can take it out of the lips there. Right, then we can have the bottom one there. Then you have let's just make that a little bit tighter. The Death Star. I don't know why it reminds me of the Death Star. Yeah. It's just like complex doodling. Yeah. It's like complex doodling. Lastly, Lastly, let's just see, I'm not really off the page here. Where's my little finger there? Okay, there's the bottom of the page. Um, half a circle. Let's do a few wider ellipses. We've got an egg going there. person up here, lawn, yeah, and a little desert island, and let's just come in and strengthen some of these.
Okay, see those white lines? There we have Captain Steubing on his desert isle. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the Cone, uh, what's it, the cylinder, the cone, and the sphere. All thanks to all the hard work you did last week on the ellipse. So that is two thirds of the building blocks that make up the known universe. That is here to Mars. That is basically here to you know, physicists will, you know, this is the same five shapes. It doesn't matter how far out you look. It's the same five shapes that makes up the universe. A sphere is a sphere. Okay. Thanks very much, everyone. Looking forward to seeing you in the next episode. Practice, 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 practice. No, no, no. Play, 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 play. Have a play with those toys. Okay, bye. Oh, and press subscribe, will you?